Rest in peace to Nipsey. Nipsey was a rare breed. You know, a cat that made millions and actually stayed in the hood, opened up stores and tried to give guys opportunities. You know, a guy that was gang affiliate, but he told dudes to start working together and he tried to stop the violence. That's a difficult thing to do, especially where he from, right? But there is a lesson to be learned about his death. And unfortunately, that's how it always is, right? So let's talk about it, man. How big is too big? When is it all right to leave the hood? Is it all right to leave the hood once you make it? Now, I'm going to tell you like this, man. There's a point in your life, right, where you're going to be in a position where you're looking at both sides and you're saying, that's the streets, that's Hollywood. Will I abandon my, my people, the streets, to be successful up in the hills? Or can I work from the hills and try to be cool and, 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 and give guys opportunity from the streets? Difficult, difficult, difficult thing to come to grasp with. You dig what I'm saying? But follow me here, you know? Because if you in the hills and you a millionaire, it's difficult to preach to the dudes that's in the streets. They not, they not trying to hear you because it's like, bruh, how you know what's going on? You don't know I struggle. Although you from the hub, but you... You don't know what's going on right now and today. You're going and eating lobster and steak while I'm in the streets trying to, you know, take a dollar or two. And I'm going to go to the Chinese restaurant in the quarter store to get a quarter water and some seeds. It's a difficult thing, right? So when you make it and you stay in the hood, that's the danger as well because now you making music, especially in the hip-hop industry. You making music. You got a persona about yourself, right? You talking about different things and how you... Because music... Hip-hop, how we listen to it, is about our experiences, right? You got a persona about you. Now, people going to want to test that. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? You in the hood now. People going to want to test that. I don't care how good you're doing. In the hood, people always going to look at you sideways because they know you you worth millions, playboy. I don't care how much props or how much people love you or how much you got. You got a bunch of dudes, a bunch of gorillas on your side, man. They not. Dudes are still going to test that. You see me? And that's exactly what happened with Nipsey. But I respect him for staying in the hood and trying to, you know, create an opportunity for the people. But if I was him, and the question I'm asking you, if you was him, would you have stayed in the hood? Right? Because if you ask me, I would have not. You did? No, no, no way. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you right now, once you make it out of the streets, you have to leave. You cannot stay. You see what I'm saying? And it's dangerous, one. Two, you can no longer grow from a place where you already mentally checked out. So you in the hood. You got your dudes, you know, looking up to you, inspiring to be just like you, watching you eat steak and lobster, riding around in drop tops. Now you worrying about your dudes being envious and jealous, and then you worrying about the other dudes being envious and jealous, and then you in a gang, and it's cold to this thing. You see what I'm saying? So it was crazy watching Nipsey do his thing. It's like, okay, that's something different, but it's consequences to it, people. You understand what I'm saying? I hear the people on YouTube talking about it, trying to cash in on his death. For me, I'm going to make it a learning experience for you cocksuckers out there. At the end of the day, man, if you, you look, I'm talking to regular dudes like me. We touch, touching thousands of dollars and we able to move and shake and we trying to open up businesses. Or we open up businesses and we moving and shaking and things of that nature. I'm talking to dudes like me, B. You understand me? Once you get a few dollars, bro, like I'm talking... You got to move forward, B. You got the leaderhood, man. You got to leave that mentality where, it, where you found it at as well. You cannot take that mentality. You cannot take that sweetness with you to your next move in life, bro. You dig what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes always say, yo, CBT. You dig? They don't call me CBT, but for the sake of this video, CBT, you dig? You you know what I mean? You moved on. You live in Florida, man. You lived in... You lived in Wisconsin, you lived in PA, you lived in Georgia, you lived in Atlanta, you lived in all parts of Florida, you lived all over the place, you dig? St. Louis, you smell me? I love St. Louis, shout out to St. Louis, you smell me? And I'm like, bruh, hey, yo, you, where you live at now? That's what they say, because they know I'm always moving and shaking, you see what I'm saying? And it's a reason for that, because I'm experiencing everything I can experience, yeah, it's within the 50 states, but at the end of the day, I ain't got my passport stamp, yeah, it's going to get it there, but at the end of the day, my point is this, man. I'm always moving and, and, and looking and, and striving to do things different. You feel what I'm saying? I cannot be stagnated. I don't want you to be stagnated in the place that you at. I got a bunch of homies. I'm from Queens. I'm telling you right now. They with, 
Listen, well, I left them at, when I, if I go back right now, they're going to be still there in that position. They're not going nowhere, people. You understand me? I remember when I was a young dude, man, I didn't know. I didn't know there was a Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. I mean, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Bronx, you know, Long Island, Staten Island. I know nothing about that, kid. You see, I thought it was just where I lived at. That's, where the, that's all I supposed to know. But luckily, I grew up with a group of cats that we loved to walk. And we used to walk to Jamaica from Queens. You see me? Walk to certain parts of Brooklyn from Queens. You dig what I'm talking about? You know, you could walk from Jamaica Avenue and go to, you know, Ozone Park, Richmond Hill. And you'd be right there at Grant. You smell me? Utica. You smell what I'm saying? Like, then we hopped on the train. My point is this, bro. The people where I'm from, man, they're going to be, they all right where they at, where I left them at. You see me? Uh, you know, when you're getting money, you kind of don't see things because everybody is celebrating you. You feel me? And it's like, nah, it can't be that. Point is, man, you know, I don't know who, what happened, Nipsey. But I guarantee you, he knew the dude that hit him. You smell me? I guarantee you, he let people in too close. You see what I'm saying? I know that he shouldn't have been in that hood. I'll tell you that. He should have been in the store that he's running. I'm going to tell you that right now. It ain't about keeping it real, man. The streets is a myth, bro. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about boxing, man. <laughs> it's all about boxing, man. What you need to do is rock with your boy. Let this beat ride out. Subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the notifications. That's the button up top, man. Cause you rocking with the best, man. Rock with your boy. Peace.